jams. Now all 3D printers get jams, but if you follow the tips and tricks, uh, preventing a jam is the most important. Make sure you're using the proper filament, proper temperatures, that you're feeding it properly and preparing the filament before you feed it on in the, to the system. So if you do get a jam, how do you deal with it? So we're gonna have to take apart the extrusion head. First thing we need to do is go ahead and move the Z axis all the way to the up position. That allows us easy access to the ferro nut right over here for the Bowden tube as well as to the tip on the extruder itself. Now, because the plastic is jammed in there, it's best to work with the extrusion head hot so that the plastic is fluid and it's easy to take apart the assemblies in case we have to. First thing I would recommend trying to do on clearing a jam is actually taking the clamp right here onto the back and manually trying to force the plastic on through, pulling it back and, and pushing it forward. A lot of times you can just clear the jam by manually forcing it through the extrusion head. You can also manually bump up the temperature a little bit. Normally the default is 190 degrees for the, for the uh, target temperature. If you bump that up to about 230 degrees and try to clear that clog, a lot of times that'll get your clog cleared just by manually forcing it through. Bring your temperature back down to normal ranges for the PLA plastic, which is around 190 to 205 degrees. And then you'll be able to clear the clog out that way. Now, worse comes the shun, but you can't get this clog uh, taken care of. What you're gonna need to do is manually take apart the, the extrusion head. So right over here, we have a little brass tip that unthreads from the heat heater itself. And then this is our Bowden tube um, with the ferro nut right out on the top. In the up position, it gives us plenty of clearance and access to the heating element itself. So what we're gonna need to do is actually come into the side and normally the heater is plugged in right here. And we're gonna have to support and hold the heater with either a pair of pliers or a wrench and stop this from twisting because this actually is capable of untwisting from this section right here. So you don't want that to happen because it actually has a uh, tight uh, seal between here and here and that actually stops plastic from extruding and coming right out here from the top. So we wanna support that when we take the tip off so that it doesn't actually come loose. So we do that by actually supporting and holding this from this end, uh, but making sure that we're not contacting the heating element in the wires. Pretty, pretty visible, pretty obvious where those are, so make sure we're not contacting those. We're just coming in here and supporting it, and then we can just come in here with our wrench and come right here on the tip and take that loose. Now, it, it comes loose with this hot because the plastic is all fluid much easier, so make sure you're not touching any of this. You're wearing proper gloves and, and uh, making sure you're protected. Uh, come in here and, and you're able to remove this tip. With the tip removed, you should be able to come right in here with the clamps, force this plastic through on both sides, get it cleared out, reinstall the tip with it hot, make sure it's nice and tight, both are tight so you don't have any leakage of plastics between here and here, and you'll be able to continue on printing. Make sure anytime that you take this apart that you re-zero your bed, uh, the distance between the extrusion and the bed itself. Uh, now, Worst case scenario, if you cannot get that uh, cleared out, you can actually just remove this extrusion head, take it and set it on your bench. You can also use a, a, a lighter as well as like one of those small butanes while well, it's in here to overheat the head and try and clear a clog. You can also remove the top nut right here fairly easily and pull the Bowden tube right out the top as well. And sometimes you can have uh, a little more strength on the plastic uh, by forcing the plastic through on here. So if you have to remove the entire head, the fan just actually housing just snaps right off. The, uh, the heating element is just clamped right here on the bottom of the Phillips, as well as the sensor right here. You take those two Phillips loose and you're able to remove the entire wiring harness and you're left with the extrusion head. Allows you to remove the heating element as well as the tip. You can go in here and completely clean the entire assembly, get it all cleared out, reassemble it, put it back in, make sure it's nice, good and tight. You can even use a little bit of Teflon tape, uh, make sure you don't have any leaks. Re-zero your bed and you got your jam cleared. Like I said, most important thing is make sure you're using quality filament, proper temperatures, uh, preparing the filament before you feed it in, as well as when you replace filament that you feed it through and back out uh, and, and just prevent the jam. Stay tuned for more tips and tricks. We'll see you guys next time.